So you might be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone keyboard letters are just not typing. Now what does this mean? Well, maybe you're going through and you're actually trying to you know, go inside and your keyboard or whatever, and for some reason nothing is working, your keyboard letters are just not typing. And this happens sometimes. So the very first thing I would recommend doing, the easiest thing to do, is to pretty much just restart your iPhone. So if your keyboard letters are being weird, nothing's typing, just go ahead, restart your iPhone as you normally would, hold down the volume up button and the power button, or just the power button if you have a home button iPhone, slide the power off this iPhone, give it a few seconds, power it back on, and you might be surprised that your keyboard is actually working and fully functional now. I've seen this so many times, it's happened to me probably three to four times, probably in the last like three years. So that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. Just go ahead, <laughs> restart your iPhone, and that's probably gonna fix it. Now, if you're able to go ahead and hold down this specific button down here, like if some buttons work, but some of the other ones don't, then that might mean that your screen is actually broken in those specific areas. So for some reason, you're able to type in all these other letters, but when you type in a specific letter, it's just not registering. That could mean that that display is broken on your iPhone. And that's another thing you may want to just take a look at. Just make sure that your specific device doesn't have a display you know, problem. You can also go inside of your notes application and you can also just get into like the drawing section, which is right here. And you may just want to draw. And if it's, if it skips a certain area, that might mean that there's an actual like problem with your iPhone and you might want to go and fix it. The other thing you may just want to go and update your iPhone as well. So make your way over to your iPhone settings, just like this, you know, scroll down until you see your general settings, which is right here. You then want to go and click on software update, which is right there. And all you're going to want to do is update your iPhone. Chances are, if you update your iPhone, this may end up fixing the problem, and that's probably all you're going to have to do in this specific situation as well. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to all.